Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gambling Savant. Today I want to take a look at an article from Cards Chat News related to an update on the 2021 World Series of Poker live in Las Vegas, Nevada. So a lot of this information will be coming from Kevin Mathers, whose nickname is Kev Math, and he is a avid poker player a tournament player and cash game player alike. He has been in the industry for many years. He has been everything from not only a poker player, but a moderator, a writer, a poker information manager, a poker community manager, and an information coordinator. So he is well-versed in this subject, in this industry. He has lots of connections. And let's see what he has to say. So the title reads, Kev Math reports 2021 WSOP is on. Questions remain. <clears throat> the 2021 WSOP will happen this year in Las Vegas, Kevin Mathers reported on Twitter. But the World Series of Poker won't confirm it, nor will they deny the poker information guru's claims. But Ty Stewart says regardless of what the WSOP wants to happen, they must follow state and local guidelines, rightfully so. They're referring to the pandemic. Last year's summer poker extravaganza was replaced with an online bracelet series split between WSOP.com and GG Poker. At the end of the year, the poker sites hosted separate main events with the final tables played live in Las Vegas and Rosvadov, Czech Republic. The winners, Joseph Hebert and Damian Salas, then met for a heads-up match at the Rio to determine the 2020 world champion. Salas defeated Hebert and won the bracelet. The coronavirus is still a major problem around the world, but cases have dropped significantly, and a vaccine may soon become available to anyone who wants it. So a 2021 WSOP in Las Vegas is becoming more likely. But one executive told Cards Chat News, there's nothing official at this point. 2021 WSOP chance is rising. Mathers, however, said the summer event is going to happen. He claimed on Twitter that he spoke with an executive who assured him the series will run this year. So that's quite encouraging. End quotes. Spoke with a high-ranking WSOP executive last night to answer two frequently asked questions. A live edition of the WSOP will happen in 2021. The dates, however, of the live WSOP will not, I repeat, will not be during the usual time frame, which is usually late May to mid-July, Mathers tweeted. Kev Math has inside info on poker and the WSOP. He's worked as the social media czar for the WSOP's Twitter account for the past few years and is a respected member of the poker media. But did he jump the gun here? <clears throat> In quotes, Not sure who Kev Math spoke with, but a little early for us to make any official comment, Stewart told Cards Chat News. If there is a pending announcement, we'll try to make sure it's comprehensive. Stewart, the executive director for the World Series of Poker, said the fate of the 2021 WSOP hinges on state and local government guidelines, along with the vaccine rollout. In quotes, everyone is trying to predict when broad vaccination will occur, and many feel comfortable that is toward the back half of the year. Safety and comfort of our players will be the primary determination for 2021, Ty Stewart said. Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak recently permitted casinos in his state to operate at 35% of maximum capacity, up from 25% the previous three months. On March 15th, that number will bump up to 50%, which is currently what it's at. That was about a week ago or so, a week and a half ago. So now they are running at 50% capacity. Then, on May 1st, he's going to allow local governments to determine their own COVID-19 restrictions. That could set the table for Clark County, home to Las Vegas, to soon remove 
large gathering restrictions, perhaps setting the stage for a live 2021 WSOP. So there it is. Basically, the last sentence or two are the real takeaway to whether or not the live 2021 WSOP will take place. If they remove the large gathering restrictions, even if it's not 100%, um, we are likely going to see live action, even if it's in a somewhat diminished fashion. Uh, maybe not the same player pools. Maybe the tables have to be spread out somewhat. Um, hopefully that's not the case. It'd be fantastic if we can get back to the old days uh, as of just even a, a year and a half ago um, and see the Rio just packed with players from all over the world. Uh, so I'll keep you posted on that. Um, and I would like to leave you with a quote, but before I do, let's just take a quick look at this beautiful old school photo. We've got Bobby Baldwin back here. We've got Amarillo Slim, who I've I've met Bobby. Um, Amarillo Slim, I actually ate lunch next to him and his granddaughter at the Bellagio years ago. We're talking uh, about 15 years ago, and that was an experience that I'll never forget. And of course, Stu the Kid Unger takes center stage here in the photo. Uh, you know, a master of all card games and uh, a real brilliant player on the green felt. So I think that's just a classic old school photo. Uh, you know, having met quite a few of these players over the years um, in Las Vegas, it's, it's just a, a sight to behold here to uh, kind of reflect back on my experience meeting them um, having, you know, not seen them in their glory days, uh, what, looking at these photos really is a whole lot of fun for me. But I will leave you with a quote from Paul Newman from the movie The Color of Money. He says, Money won is twice as sweet as money earned. Take care, everybody. If you like this content, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below and I'll be in touch with you shortly. Have a great day.